Hey, this is James. Uh, today I'm going to show a smaller feature, so this might be a much shorter video than some of my, the previous ones. Um, this is a small feature that was added in an Archicad 23 update, I think the first or second update, and also in 24, and it's to do with the beams and the areas. So I'm just going to draw a beam. And let's say it's uh, four meters long. And I'm going to start uh, like crossing it. So another beam is going to cross it. Uh, this beam, I'm going to add a couple of holes to it. So I'm going to just add a couple of holes, which I could make bigger. And I'm also going to put in, uh, maybe not yet. So if I label this beam, and if I then go net volume, so then I use auto text and I type volume. So here we have net volume. Uh, this did uh, uh, exist in previous uh, versions, but the new one is gross uh, volume, which was added uh, more recently. So if I go gross volume, double click, and you can see then the, the value, uh, it ignores, so what I'll do is copy both of these. So I'm just gonna duplicate these down. Uh, you can see that this beam is crossing through it, so it's cutting out, so, but I'll show that in 3D shortly. So if we move, say, these holes, then you can see that uh, the gross volume for the above one is uh, ignoring the priority base connection here with the other beam and the two holes here. So if I open this up in 3D, just this beam, so you can see that the other beam is cutting through here and you can see there's two uh, small openings, so small holes. And if I also add a uh, opening, so with the new opening tool, so if I place an opening in here, and if I also place it in here as well, you can see that the net volume, so it takes out obviously this, and, but the gross volume will ignore um, the holes, the opening, and the priority base connection. So this gross volume didn't exist um, in 22 uh, and before, and it didn't, uh, it didn't, wasn't supported also I think for the initial ArchiCAD 23 update but I think the uh, first or second update um, uh, now supports this gross volume. So I'm just going to delete this hole. So if we go then also to a schedule, I'm just going to create a new schedule and this beam volume and my element type is beam and to my schedule I'm just going to add uh, element ID and volume. So we also can have the volume of the holes but I want to add the net volume and the gross volume here. So okay and then I'll open this schedule up and just resize the headings Okay, so here you can see the net volume, so this existed, but the gross volume is, uh, is, is quite new. Uh, for this one, uh, it doesn't have anything being cut out from it, so that's why the net and gross are the same. So this is just a small update uh, that was made. Um, I think it went a little bit under the radar, so just to, uh, to help clarify that this, uh, this update was made. Uh, yeah, so now we have the net and gross uh, as well for beams. Yeah, so this is a much shorter one, so until next week, thanks.